okay guys so let's create our database file let's open excel and create a new blank sheet i will close this file which i have used for testing earlier okay so in this excel sheet you go to the first row in here you type the names which is going to be the labels this is how illustrator will know the exact names from the excel sheet but make sure to put the first letter in capital although adobe doesn't say anything about capital letters i find when i use small letters sometimes these things are not working properly okay so the first cell i'm going to create the name second one the b1 is going to be designation and c1 let's move it a bit c1 is going to be the mobile number and here office number just say office and next one is going to be email address email i have made all these labels as capital letters just to avoid uh, confusion with adobe illustrator and let's save this file okay let's go and save as i will browse the area maybe in here i will create a new folder in here uh, inside this one i'm going to name this as context uh, sorry csv and the file name will be context context see yeah see context okay so before we save this is really really important guys please keep in mind if you are using windows please save this format csv not the one in here on top below csv comma d delimited this is the format you have to save and for windows you can also try csv ms iphone dos this one also works sometimes but if you are using mac you have to save as csv utf 8 comma delimited so this is very important guys if not your file will not work properly so in our case let's save this one as csv comma delimited and let's go and save okay once we save we can start connecting this illustrator file to the csv file so what we need to do now is go to windows and go to variables and which will open up this variable window in here and here select the sheet go to your sheet you have selected created select the contact and open once you open you will see all the names we have created in the excel sheet not this one the other one this one name designation mobile and office all you will see in here now all we need to do is bind these two together all right so let's bind one by one select the name and name click on this icon below which will bind both of them together do the same for designation and for the mobile click the mobile bind it together office also same and email also same now all the data is bind together but we have no data in here i already have another file with dummy data in here as you can see it's the same thing i have filled up with some dummy data so let's save this file in a separate place i already saved this in here but make sure the file format is same so save again yes all right minimize this again let's import the that new file in here you can go in here and import a new data and select the new file from here it will ask whether to delete the current settings you just select yes which will delete the current one and it imported the new data set which is from the new file but the last one was not binded and i bind that one as well now all this data is connected with this excel file in here okay now all we need to do is go up in here and select the data set one if you go to my excel file you will see the data set one john manager and the phone number the second one is jane and all the four or five names from the excel sheet is appearing from this one is appearing in here 
now you can see the csv file is interconnected with this adobe illustrator file so next time if you want to update something you just need to add new data in here or delete if you if a person quit just delete that person's name and just save the file and next time whenever you need print printouts or create uh, printable files just go back to illustrator load the data again same as i did uh, earlier i have added one file then i have added a new file with the same settings the same thing you can edit a new data set but that time select the same file so all the new data set will be will come as individual data set and if you delete anything those will be gone okay now we have import the data as you can see each and every data you can browse through with data sets on top with these arrow keys but still you will see these data files are individual files let's say you want to print this or give it to some printer printers you have to go here one by one like this and save them individually because you cannot give this database file to print shop they won't go through one by one to print so it's again manual labor you have to go one by one and select each and every one and go in here and save or save as from here fortunately we don't have to do that like that because that's where actions comes in handy we can automate this process using actions so in our next video next episode i will show you guys how to automate the action how to save all of these files just by clicking one icon in your adobe illustrator all right guys see you guys in the next video